clinical trials, a sensitive affair. But you know what's even more sensitive? SAE. SAE refers to serious adverse events, such as when a trial participant gets hospitalized, suffers disability, or expires during the course of a trial. It puts the concerned researcher under extreme pressure, such as our Dr. Reddy here. Dr. Ananya later found out that the participant died as a result of poisoning. And she did not realize that it was necessary to notify the EC or the sponsor. Ethics Committee temporarily suspended the clinical trial and advised Dr. Ananya Reddy that SAE must have been reported within 24 hours. Dr. Ananya Reddy approaches the head of the department for another research proposal. However, he is reluctant to support her because of the non-compliance in SAE reporting. Sir, sir, if you could please reconsider my Dr. Reddy, you need to submit the SAE form and inform the ethics committee within 24 hours. This is not acceptable. But, sir, it was proven to be a case of poisoning, so I... So what? If it's related or unrelated, you need to inform within 24 hours. I understand. I'm so sorry, sir, but I promise from next understand, time... Understand, doctor. Please understand the responsibility of a good researcher. Thank you. Dr. Reddy is currently involved in another clinical trial evaluating effectiveness of influenza vaccine in pregnant women. Dr. Reddy gets to know that Savitri, one of her clinical trial participants, has suffered the intrauterine death of a fetus. This time Dr. Reddy ensured that SAE was reported on time, not only to the ethics committee but also to the relevant authorities. It should be understood that the research proposal should have an inbuilt provision for mitigating research-related harm and research participants who suffer direct physical, psychological, social, legal or economic harm as a result of their participation are entitled, after due assessment, to financial or other assistance to compensate them equitably for any temporary or permanent impairment or disability. Researchers to report SAEs within 24 hours, followed by a detailed report within 14 days to the EC and the relevant authorities. EC must review the relatedness of the SAE to the research and determine the quantum and type of assistance to be provided to the participants. All research participants who suffer harm, whether related or not, should be offered appropriate medical care, psychosocial support, referrals, clinical facilities, etc.